Hey fellow book lovers, it's Sarah. Welcome to my very first booktube video! Yes, finally, after months and months of me saying it, I'm finally doing my very first booktube video. I have been wanting to do it for a very, very long time, and now I'm finally doing it. So today what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you all the books that I own. I'm going to show you all of my series and trilogies and then move on to standalones and first in series books. Since most of the books that I own, most of the people know already, I'm just gonna not explain what each book is about. If you want to know more, then I'll leave an annotation on the book when it pops on screen and I'm going to leave a link in the description to each book that I show if you want to know more about that book. So let's get on to showing you all of my books that I own. Before I show all the books that I own to you fellow book lovers, I forgot to say that most of these books that I own have already been turned into a movie or they're just really popular. The first series I have here to show you is a series that I'm pretty sure everybody knows about and is pretty popular and recently the movies have stopped for just like, I don't know, maybe about five years, but they are very close to continuing on with the next movie in the series and the series is The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you know this, that I love, love Narnia so much. So much that I actually have a Narnia account on Twitter, and I'll leave a link to that down below in the description to my Twitter account if you are a Nar Narnia fan and you want to actually follow it. Anyway, we have in the series, The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. This is the movie tie-in edition that came with the box set um and i also have the prince caspian tie-in movie edition and the voyage of the dawn treader movie tie-in edition next in the series we have the horse and his boy prince caspian the voyage of the dawn treader the silver chair which is the next book in the series to be made into a movie and last the last battle. So I am planning on making a full video just talking about the Narnia series and the next Narnia movie. I'm planning on making a full video just about Narnia, just talking about the series, how much I love it, and talking about the next movie that's coming out, The Silver Chair, and maybe might have a little Narnia series going on on this channel. You know, like movie updates maybe. I mean, I do that on the, my Narnia account, but I would love to also just talk about it in a video. So anyway, let's move on to my next series I'm going to show you. The next series I have here is another series that I love, and sadly the movies, the movie franchise is coming to an end very soon this month, and I think you all know what this series is as well. It's very, very popular. Everybody knows what it is, and that is the Hunger Games trilogy series by Suzanne Collins. I love the series so much, and I don't want it to end, but it's sadly going to end. Anyway, you guys already know what's in here, like which ones as see right here. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. So many sad things happen in Mockingjay and I'm not ready to see it in theaters. On the big screen. No. Not ready. Peta. Finnick. Flynn. Everything. Oh. And by the way, this Hunger Games box is not like any other one you see anywhere else because I actually ended up making it like back um, 
In 2011, I actually ended up, when I read the books, I actually ended up making this box to just fit my books in. So, made out of cardboard and construction paper and tape. So, yeah. The next series I have to show you is another series that I love. And if you know me on Twitter, you follow me and all that, you know that I do this thing, little thing called Glader Hangout. And part of the most kind fandom that I've ever really been a part of, that's more made me feel like I'm a part of a, a family fandom or family more than just a fandom. And that is, of course, the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. In the series, we have the Maze Runner, of course, which has been turned into a movie. The Scorch Trials, which is actually my favorite one in the series, and has already turned into a movie as well. We'll talk more about the movie in the next later hangout which I don't know exactly when I, it's going to be, but I'm going to be playing it pretty soon. Next, we have The Death Cure, which is the next book to be turned into a movie, which won't be coming out until 2017. And the next one is The Kill Order, which I know a lot of people in the, in the fandom have not read this book, honestly. Why haven't you read it? If you really loved the Maze Runner series, you would actually read all the books in the series. So read this one if you haven't read it because you won't regret it. It's amazing and I really think that this book, After the Death Cure, should be made into a movie. When I was reading it the first time, I can really picture it as a movie and I would love to see my friend Charlotte play Trina, which I think she would make a perfect Trina in the movie. So this needs to be turned into a movie. Hashtag Charlotte for Trina. Hashtag Gladers need a kill order movie. The Maze Runner series. Read them. They're amazing. And James Dashner is amazing too. The author himself. Next I have here is a, another James Dashner series. The third book hasn't come out yet. It's coming out this month. This series, I don't know if I should say series yet because it's not the full thing, but this is so far what we have in the series. The Eye of Minds and Rule of Thoughts. The third one that's coming out this month is called The Game of Lives. I can't wait to find out what happens next in the series. So far we have the first one, The Eye of Minds, and the second one, The Rule of Thoughts. These books are different from the Maze Runner series, but they are pretty interesting and very crazy. Well, most of the time, you're just like, what the heck is going on in this series? Like, But also, at the end of the books, they're kind of like cliffhangers. You have to get the next book and find out what happens next. So I would recommend this series. The next series I have is what could be known as a trilogy or a series and well trilogy only because there are three books and these are books that I don't think too many of you have read but a lot of you have read on booktube and that series trilogy is Legend by Marie Lu. In the series we have Legend the first one, Prodigy the second one, and the third one champion. This series is actually pretty awesome and if you love action-packed YA dystopian kind of books series then I would recommend you read these. The next book I have here to show you is a is the first in a series has already been turned into three movies and is just one book. It's a prequel to a very popular trilogy or series and that is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Now I have read The Hobbit of course and I did love it. The movies though I don't know. The second one especially I guess with when they put in the new character and added it so that it's like a love interest. Uh, 
I didn't really like Tariel that much, honestly. The next book I have here to show you is another book that has been made into a movie. A sci-fi kind of book, movie kind of thing. And it is a pretty old book. I'm pretty sure most of you already know what this book is. And the movie, it took them years and years and years to actually make. And that is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. I really did like the book, but I think I might have liked the movie better. I don't know, some things in here just were like, kept on you know, dragging on, just, or it, things kind of were slow a little bit, but other than that, I really did like it. The next book I have here to show you is another book that's been turned into a movie, and it's a fantasy um, kind of book such movie and the movie stars Josh Hutcherson and Anna Sophia Robb which I love both of them. Josh is my favorite actor or one of my top favorite actors and then Anna Sophia Robb is my favorite actress, top favorite actress. I think you know what this book is and that is Rich to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. I did actually really like the book and a lot of the movie was kind of faithful to the book so they did a good job in adapting the book yeah really do love the British Terabithia book and movie and I love the fact that in in the book there are some references to Narnia and Aslan and I really love that about the book other than just its creativity to you know imagine a, another world where you can just go to and not worry about everything else in the world. The next book I have here to show you is another old book and has also been turned into a movie again and I actually never heard of this book slash movie until the movie came out and I didn't even really know it was a book at that time. I didn't watch the movie until it was like after I read the book. That book is the Giver by Lois Lowry and I this is another book that I actually loved and I actually really liked the movie I know some people didn't really like it but I actually really liked it the next book I have here to show you is a book that again has been turned into a movie and I actually read this book before I saw the movie and I didn't see the movie in theaters but I did want to and it's based on a true story about a surfer and her name is Bethany Hamilton and of course that movie such book is Soul Surfer and I read it and I really 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 liked it I loved it and I saw the movie when it came out on DVD got the DVD and watched the movie and loved it so I really do love Bethany Hamilton as well and I think she's just an amazing person. The next book I have here is another book has been turned into a movie based on a true story and it's about a kid and it's also a Christian book slash movie or faith based whatever you call it um and I've yet to read this book I've yet to see the movie because I actually want to read the book before I see the movie I do have it on DVD I'm back there um collection of DVDs and that is Heaven is for Real and I've yet to read it as I said before I really want to okay the next book I have here to show you is a book that again very popular in the booktube community it's been turned into a movie series I don't know if I'm ever gonna read it it's another YA one kind of get some comparisons to Hunger Games. That book is, probably guessed it already, but that is Divergent by Veronica Roth. Don't know if I'm ever going to read this book because I heard the movies are actually pretty bad, but then again, I have heard some things about the actual book series that they love, people love it, people have some problems with it, and I don't know. I don't know. So help me in the comments below whether or not it's worth the read or what because from what I heard it is but I don't know. I just don't know. 
The next book I have here is a book that I'm pretty excited to actually read, but right now my other sister is actually reading it for school. Or and I know Jesse the Reader, this is his favorite book. This book is also being turned into a movie and it won't come out until next year, the movie, and I would really want to see that, but I also really want to read the book first before I knew it was a movie. So, and that book is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. <laughs> now this book, I know a lot of people love. This is also a series, but it's a, it's a trilogy. It has three books in the series. And the last one just came out this year. I really, 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 really want to read this, but I kind of can't since my sister Lizzie is reading it right now. Maybe I could actually start reading it sometime soon since she seems to be not that far into it. Maybe I could actually read a little bit. I don't know. Maybe, but really, really, really want to read this. Okay, so those are the books that I own, but I also have two other books that I have read, but I do not own. One of the books is Uglies by Scott Westerfield, and I liked the book, but I haven't really gotten a chance to continue on with series. Yes, it's a series. <laughs> Another series. And I do really want to continue on with the series, but I don't know exactly when. The next book I have read, but do not own, is Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. These two books, Uglies and Sisters Red, I do not own because I borrowed them from the library. And I really did like Sisters Red. I liked, of course, the Uglies. If I had to choose which book to recommend to you guys, I think I would probably say Sisters Red, maybe. But Uglies, I might actually still really want to continue the series. Let me know in the comments if you sh think I should actually end up continuing on with the Ugly series. If it's worth it or not. So I would really want to know. <laughs> the last book I have to show you is a book, of course, that I guess, you know, religious people would actually really know. Um, and that book is the Bible. The reason why the, my Bible looks like this is because this is just the Bible book cover and my mom actually gave it to me and it's a Catholic Bible because I am Catholic. So, um, even though you're not religious, please respect my faith of being Catholic and my faith is very important to me and in my family. It's just something that makes me happy all the time. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. It was a lot of books. I try to keep it short. If this video is too long, I'm sorry. And I'm going to be making more videos soon. I hope really soon. Next one would be a book haul. I do have books that I did not show in this video because I got kind of recently. I will be making a book haul video, my very first book haul video for those books. I think that's it. That's all I have for you today. I hope you have an amazing day. I love you all so much. And remember to look out for my next video, which will be coming out sometime soon. Bye, fellow book lovers.